While there's still a lot of winter to get through so far, we haven't seen a lot of snow. And apart from some flurries on Christmas Eve, there was hardly any snow in December, and that could have big implications for the remainder of the season. Meteorologist TJ Del Santo explains how this may set the stage for the rest of winter. This is not good news for snow lovers. Just based on December snowfall, the odds of significant snow for the rest of the season is dropping, and quickly. Our only significant snow this year was back in the middle of November. Since then, only 0.3 inches in December. People have mixed feelings about that. I'm a skier, so I appreciate uh, you know some snow here and there, but uh, in terms of getting around the city and, and driving around, it's, it's been easy. Looking back at 114 years of data, we found 24 Decembers with less than two inches of snow. 83% of the remainder of those seasons finished with average or below average snowfall. There is one significant outlier. Who could forget? The winter of 2014-15. December that year had less than one inch of snow. Then the most brutal winter on record was unleashed in late January. Joshua Palmarino lived in Boston at the time. Uh, snow piles, you know, higher than three, four, five story buildings. But that was an extreme anomaly in the record books. Again, 83% of near snowless Decembers were followed by average to below average snowfall. And half of those winters finished with well below average snow. Van Poe just bought a new truck and wants to get it in the snow. Made me feel like I wanted to trade my truck back in. Will we see more of the white stuff? 100% yes. We may even see a blizzard before the season is through. But the chances of getting more than the average of 27 inches the rest of the way is low. If you'd like more information about this research, you can go to our website at WPRI.com. I'm TJ Del Santo, Eyewitness News.